Welcome back to Grim Fandango. This is part four, and this is the edge of the petrified forest, which we need to go through to get to Rubicava. So, right, our first steps will be over to the right, I believe. We need to, uh, we need to head in and head towards the snoring. I think I know who that is. <laughs> is my friend. Why are you crying? Maddy? Oh, Maddy! They fired me! <laughs> <laughs> me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddy. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Yep, he Gladys, just did that. What have you done? <laughs> oh, Gladys. He's asleep. <laughs> I wonder how long he can live without a heart. Uh, quite a long time, I think. I don't think we can get rid of him quite that easily. Um, right. I think we need to go that way, but what have we got here? This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubakaba. So we need to go to the left. But I guess not quite yet. Let's go fetch his heart first, shall we? Oh, brilliant. It's already in a web. Oh, no. Ooh, ick. Mm. Shoot! Okay, uh, well, let's see. These spiders have Gladys' heart in their web. They do. Right, can we just pull it out? Just pick it up? Come on. Uh, no. It's stuck in there good. Hmm. Uh, no matter, no matter. I've got a scythe, right, still? I mean, I didn't get rid of that. There you go. There we are. Give it a slice. Perfect. Piece of cake. Maybe cut around it and... Oh, shit. Hi, <laughs> Ah, did that pretty quickly. Don't think that's gonna work. No. Okay, what else have we got? Let's have a look. So, we've got the fire extinguisher. That's it, I've just got those two items. I guess I don't need the balloons, I don't need any more of the bread, so I just got rid of it. We're in a, a new chapter now, I guess. So, uh, yeah, okay. It's not the fire extinguisher, I know that for certain, because I know what that is for. Um. Ah, what's this? I'm standing it's on something. Ugly pile of bones, like me. Ah, okay. Can we pick one up? I guess I could always use a spare. Right. Can we use it with the web? So I'm gonna try. <laughs> they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. No. Well, they haven't finished the heart off quite yet. Can we get another one? Okay. There's already a bone in there. True. True. Yeah. I guess we need one and not two. Uh, right. Well, let's just try and pick it up now. Uh, it's stuck in there. Good. Is it the scythe again? It could be the scythe again. Oh, I see! Yes! <laughs> uh, no idea where it's gone, but hopefully it's nearer to him. Oh, four spiders. No more demon hard to eat. <laughs> Very strange spiders as well. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is as far as we can go. Let's get out of here before the spiders start coming after us. Uh, no, no, no. That way, that way. Dip. Right, there you go. Didn't realize, actually, but you can uh, you can actually use a controller with this game and turn it into a well, sort of third-person adventure game rather than a point-and-click, but I'm still going to persevere with this because it's just the way I know how to play this game. Anyway, there's his heart. Let's go pick it up. <laughs> it's still beating. It's a miracle. Right, well, I don't exactly know the intricacies of heart surgery, but let's hope it's a little bit more simple than that. And it is. 
Heart! Heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong, beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? <laughs> Mr. Lamonds, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! <laughs> Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? Mm, there you I go. thought you'd never ask! So if you were wondering what sprouting was, you just got a perfect example of it. I guess it's, it's how the dead die in this world. Very, very strange indeed. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Careful! Sorry. Right. Oh, I can exit when I want, do I? Oh, okay. Um, okay, so we can go back on ourselves. Can we not go to the left? Okay. Alright, so four ways to go. Um, I, I probably don't want to go that way, honestly. Uh, let's go over here, I guess? Right, sure. What are we oh, hang on. What's this? Alright, well, there's something apparently... A There is something in the middle here. How do I get to it? How do I get to it? Fuck. Oh man, these are all different entrances. Let's just try that one. There's definitely something there though. Shit, what? What is it? <laughs> oh dear, okay. Uh, just out of interest, if we go back in that one, do we come out of the same, the same one? No, it's it's completely random. I don't know if any of these are actually going to work. It's the arrow in the middle over there. Truth be told, I don't know if I'm actually meant to see the arrow in the middle. That kind of gives something away. Uh, yeah, alright, well, let's try the one at the left, just in case. You never know. Probably going to come out on the right somehow. Uh, it's not far off, really. Yeah, okay, I think... We, we need to get something and do something in here before we can continue. That's not the way we need to go. Up here? Manny, this is a low-riding street rod, not a 4x4. Four four. We don't have the clearance for that kind of road. No, we don't. But I think we'll need it. Okay, all right, well, um, we are dealing with the mechanic. We should be able to, um, you know, suit this car up even more than it is while we're traveling. Uh, I, I, it's got to be this way then, hasn't it? Oh no. Oh no. Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. I... I have a memory of this area, and I have a feeling this is a very, very annoying puzzle. I wouldn't remember it otherwise. Let's take a look at it. There's a lever over there. It's, yeah, we can use the wheelbarrow. I don't know what this is. Can we go inside? No. Let's just take a look at this, though. Come on, Manny. Let's just run over there and have a look at it, shall we? This forest sucks the marrow out of everything. Right. Oh, is that... 
Right, that's what it's doing, I guess. Um, can we use it here? I climb it myself. I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. Oh, it's Glottis that has to do it. Right, well, we should probably talk to him then, shouldn't we? Ah, come on. Yeah, <laughs> run all the way and then talk. Gladys, what are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy. You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? These trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Maro? Huh? I never thought of that. <laughs> Maybe so. Probably. Okay. Um. And there's something up with the wheelbarrow, isn't there? That would make a decent go kart. It would, wouldn't it? Right. Um. So we can pick this up, or we. Well, we can do something. Yeah, we can pick it up. Uh, and we can move along with it. Right. Uh, how does this work? Okay. Right. Hang on, let me just move that again. Yeah, that's moving again. I think there's some sort of combination that we need to get all four of these things to, to be in for something to happen. And I don't know what that something is, frankly. But I think when the wheel of the wheelbarrow actually crosses over the cables, it, uh, it it stops one of them. So this one's not moving anymore, so the second one's to this one. And I guess this first one might be to the top left. Let's try it. It's very awkward to move, honestly. Yeah, it is. So I need to... Yeah, I need to get the wheel on the cables and release them at the perfect time to get the perfect pattern. I just don't know what the pattern is. I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop this for the time being. And I'm going to, uh, I guess, have a look at this lever here. Switches up. Well, not for long. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! <laughs> if we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake her down for sure. Right. Okay, so he's going to climb. Yeah. He's quite agile for a big guy. Okay. Just give me a second to balance these doggies. Okay. Go on, then. I'm in control. Maybe I need to... Uh... That should do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have. I don't know. Still not enough. Hmm. Maybe if I move them around a little. No, I think I need to move them around a little. I just don't know exactly what the combination is. Let's let's try something out. Let's try and sync them all up. Yeah. This might take me a while, guys. If it does take, you know, longer than like five, ten minutes, I'll just edit to the end. Uh Okay. Well, it's wobbling. That might be it. Yeah, maybe that's it. I tell you what, can I ask him to do it again? Maybe he needs to climb up there when it's wiggling around a little bit. I'm pretty sure we need to make it topple over. This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, maybe I just need to try this again. While you have that off, let me try moving those weights right. around some more. That's how we do it, that's how we do it. And it's still shaking, of course. Maybe with his extra weight, that's just gonna okay. do it. Just give me a second to balance these doggies. I actually don't know if we do. We can we can control this. Let's do it. Hey, ah. <laughs> Annie, what are you doing? Uh, is that it? It. No, that's it, that's it, okay. Manny, until now we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on we saw like eagles. <laughs> like eagles on pogo sticks! <laughs> that's more like it. What a relief. 
I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in! Or are you afraid of heights? Can't be after all that climbing I did. Right, okay, well that's gonna help us get over the rocks, I suppose, so let's try that. I hope that's the area to the right done with, honestly. That gave me a lot of issues, that's, I think, why I remember it. Mm, okay, where are we now? Uh, don't remember the- oh, hang on. It's actually a padlock that works, apparently. Can we have a look- can we have a look at that? I don't think I remember this area. There's a big old padlock on this outer gate. Huh, alright, uh, well, I, I don't know, can we- I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. If only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exerciser Domino got me for Secret Santa. <laughs> I was just thinking, actually, maybe I should dive in and, and grab my scythe. Or the fire extinguisher. Maybe it's got a second use. I'll try the scythe first. Oh, maybe the bone. Still got the bone. Uh, the scythe. God, give it a whack. I don't know which end you'll hit it with, but I don't want to mess up my blade. Oh, you don't want to mess up the blade. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, that's going back away, and we're going to try and find something else. The bone? Let's try the bone. No place for a bone there. No, but I've still got it, so I guess it's still useful. Maybe? Well, oh, maybe not. Let's put it away. Last but not least, the fire extinguisher. That's not on fire. No. Okay. Well, I, I thought maybe I could break it. What's what's with the door? That's not on fire. No, I know. Put it away. Put it away. The game insists on you using the item, whatever you're carrying. Uh. Oh, it opens. Manny! What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. Oh. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. Hey! Shit. Right. Okay, well... I do have the fire extinguisher to deal with them. I don't know if I need to do something out here before I go back in, though. Well, let's try it. I don't think there's any real threat or danger in the game. I don't think I can actually die as such. Not here, anyway. And, uh, yeah, they're leaving me alone now, so... Right. Is there one over there as well? There's four of them. Okay. What's this? Careful. Don't get too close. These monsters have made a dam out of human bones. They would, wouldn't they? Is that another one? That's another one. And I don't think there's actually like a, a drop button in this game, so we're just gonna have to put it in the jacket and start filling it up. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think we make a run for it as such. We're gonna need, we're gonna need Glossis and his car. Oh, right, okay, we can go to the left. I see, I see. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm being followed. <laughs> you know what? I. Is this where we use it? It might be where we use it. Let's select this. Wait, what was, what's going on here? Uh, I'm clicking it, but I'm not getting like a sub menu or anything. Mm, okay. Do you just keep spraying? Just, yeah, turn it off, turn it off. Uh, is it safe to go back? I don't know. Let's see. No, they... Hold on, if I go back, will one approach... Yeah, it approaches the ledge again. Right, I think what I need to do is get the beavers to jump into this... Ah, right, hang on. That's not on fire. No, 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 okay, put it away so I can actually have a look at it properly, all right? This river seems to be made of tar, but those beavers just seem to cut through it like water. Right. Can I use something? No, I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar. Not like them. I guess I can't I pick any of it up. No, I did. I did. I did. Um, it's not. Is that? I'll finish a sentence one of these days, guys. Uh, yeah, I think this is why I can pick up the bones. Actually, let's pick up a bone and throw it in. 
Yes. Uh, right, right, right. That's why they're on the ledge. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold. Wait, 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 wait. This, this is the chance, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Select it. Use it. Oh, I think I just missed. I get the concept, though. I do. I think I just need to be a little bit quicker. Um, we got another bone. Of course we do. Okay. Quickly now. Back to this. That's it. On it goes. Come on, jump in, jump in. Right. That is how you extinguish them. And another one climbs up to the uh, to the diving board, it looks like. Do we have another one? Do we have another bone? We don't. We're going to need a, well, two or three more, I guess. Let's, let's go back. How many more are we dealing with? Two. Two. Maybe I did get that first one. Oh, no, no, no. There you go. There's that third one. Ah, uh, right. If you could just move away, please. Because I need to go get some more bones. Ah... Uh, can I just go grab this? Come on. Yeah, okay, brilliant. Thank you. And another one, please. And again? No, 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 no. Well, actually, can I... Let's just test this. Seeing as there's nothing in the way. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh, fuck, no. Yeah, sent right back to the beginning. And he's still making noises. Christ. Ah, uh, that didn't reset it, did it? Let's hope not. There's still that third one back there, but the fourth one, you know, I think it's still below the tar. I think I actually dealt with it. Okay. Right, so we just need to do this three more times, I guess. Alright. So, in it goes. Come on. Get in there somewhere. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, two down, two to go. It's very nice that they don't follow me down or, you know, all jump in at once, because I might be screwed then. Uh, yep, throw it in there. Rinse, repeat. That was some weird physics there, I think. There you go, that's the one. And... Go. <laughs> so there's a pile of, well, I guess dead, extinguished beavers at the bottom of this tar. Is that it? There's not another one? Hang on. Maybe I dealt with them all. I think I probably did. Okay, so now what happens when I get to the very end? I still can't get to the next screen, it looks like. That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. Uh. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could I leave without Gladys? Yeah. How could I leave without Gladys? He's going to be my faithful sidekick, of course. So, uh, yeah. Well, well, let's speak to him. There's no danger now. I've dealt with him. <laughs> he is a loud one, though, unfortunately, isn't he? Uh, you're getting on? I'm thinking the next project should be Wings. It very well might be. I guess we just need to go back on, or... Well... Hmm. Let's go back up there a moment. I think it's, it's something to do with that padlock. But I tried the bone, I tried the scythe... The Black River are blowing bubbles at the bottom. So let's power on through, huh, Glot? Manny, look at that badass gate. I can't drive through that. We have to find the key. Ejole. Where's the key? Where's the damn key? Let's get back on. It. The key's got to be in that area up here. But there's that area in the middle. How do I get to that? It's so frustrating just having like half a memory of something. Yeah, th there's obviously something here. Maybe, maybe I just... I need to be on foot. Let's exit. Yeah, enter is apparently the exit button. Right, well, now it's gone. Well, what about if I just go through one of these on foot? I just emerged from another one on foot. 
Ah, crap. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is just like a, um... It's a vehicle-only thing. Let's see if the arrow comes back. Yeah, it's still there. I can click it, but nothing seems to happen. And it's because I'm missing something. What am I missing? Is it an item? I don't think it's an item. It's nothing that we've picked up already anyway. Maybe it's not here yet. Maybe we need to come back later. Maybe we do sort of head back to the, the edge of the forest. Down here, where he lost his heart. I ain't driving back to town, Manny. Uh, well, okay. Maybe I need to walk back? Or to the edge, at the very least. Right, down we go. No? no? Or maybe... <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's in the way. Uh, I can't seem to get there, actually. The sign is pointing that way, isn't it? This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubakaba. Hmm. In this direction. And I don't think it's... Motherfucker. That's it. That's the thing I was missing. Uh, yes, okay, uh, I think I'm just gonna have to do this on foot. Uh, well, unless I can... I can probably put it in my jacket, actually, but let's do it on foot anyway. The goddamn sign. Jesus, okay. <laughs> the more I play this, the more I realise that there's a, lot, there's a lot of these weird sort of puzzles which aren't extremely intuitive. Um... Right, I can't see the, uh, the arrow anymore, but it's around here somewhere, wasn't it? So... Uh, we just, yeah, we just plant it down, that's it. Uh, what's going on? Can we have a look at it? Well, it's pointing somewhere. I think it was pointing... Pointing to this one. Do I... Do I go through this one? Maybe that's it. Maybe now when I go through this, that'll change and I have to follow it? No? Let, let's pick it up again and maybe... No, oh, okay. Run over to it, then pick it up again, and maybe place it down somewhere else? Maybe it needs to be planted down in this sort of direction? Like, here? And now you're pointing that way? Or more sort of that way somewhere? Okay. Pick it up again. Maybe we just need... I think that's it, actually. I think we just need to put the signpost in the right place. So, over there-ish. Let's see. Oh. Was that it? <laughs> yes! <laughs> that explains that arrow! Which I don't think really should have shown up before, you know, the, the ground lifted up. So I think that's a, that's a little bit of a bug, actually, even in the remastered version, so maybe that should be addressed. Um, I don't know, do we go down with Blotis? Let's just go on foot, since we're here. Right? Right, ah. That's a key, isn't it? Oh, come on, over here. It, can we go on foot? I'm oh, making it so far. Yeah, it looks a bit like a... Looks like pretty rough terrain, honestly, actually, so... Let's see. Can we grab it? It looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck tooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Well, I will, if I can grab it. Yep. Did I get it? We can't pass up an old creepy key. Certainly can't, no. Okay. Right, well that should be to the padlock then, so I don't need to destroy it, I just need to unlock it normally. Let's put that away for the time being. Um... Yeah, let's keep going over to the right. Oh, we're back here again? Oh, well, well that's kind of where I need to be. I'm sort of left Glottis behind, but um... Okay. Uh, no. Is that it? I guess that's got to be it, right? 
Go on. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Right. Oh, perfect. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. You're dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, Manny. Aww. <laughs> right, okay, I think that's us done with the petrified forest. Get the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town. Pin. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. It certainly does. It certainly does. <laughs> Glace, he just can't sit still, can he? Uh, right. Okay, so go to the right, it looks like. Can't go to the foreground, it looks like there's a there's a barrier there actually. We can go up to what looks to be a giant cactus. Um Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let, let's let's not go down there quite yet. Let's go this way. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> you gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicon ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, <laughs> looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. <laughs> okay. So what, through that, that mist on the right, there's just like a fucking cliff edge? Why wasn't there barriers there? And look at me shivering, damn. Sort yourself out, sort yourself, come on, there you go. Alright, oh, he's off down there. Um, well, probably don't want to go that way anymore. Should I go back down with Glottis and him? Probably want to speak with him. Let's go have a look at this giant cactus, though. What is this place? Huh. I think I remember it, but not... not this. Alright. Okay, hot dishes, uh... It's like a cafe or something? Wait, 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 wait. I know you. This guy looks familiar. He does. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? <laughs> yeah, I left my stilts at home, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, do I need the walking stick? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. Ah, right. Um... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubakava, so I came here to wait for her. Fair enough. Well, uh, join the club, I suppose. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. That helps, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, maybe she went ahead. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. Hmm. So she didn't take the money and run, essentially. Um, yeah, I guess I'll help. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? <laughs> um, right, well, uh... I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone. So I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. I'm sure you do. So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Maybe it is. 
Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. <laughs> I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. I suppose so. Okay. And that's the end of the conversation tree with him. Um, okay. So, yeah, back what I was going to do. I was going to have a look at these, weren't I? I hate the way mustard spouts get all crusted like that. Can we do anything about it? The glove compartment on the bone wagon is full of <laughs> tiny ketchup and mustard packets. Not to mention soy sauce. I really don't need any more. Fair enough. What's this down here? That's not him, is it? No, no, there's, there's something else on the table. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it, believe me. It attracts the wrong kind of women. <laughs> uh, so we're looking at the paper rather than the cup and saucer. Let's take it. Hmm. Maybe oh, I should okay. place a personal hand. Ah, forget it. Um, anything else? We can't go into the foreground anymore, and this seems to be the extent of the place, really. Okay, let's go back. I mean, that guy fished us out of the ocean. We should probably go and speak with him and maybe find if there is a safe way to get to the, you know, the actual town of Rubicava. It's down there somewhere, I think. It's not up here. Yeah, let's go speak with the guy. Maybe he can teach me how to navigate through the fog. <laughs> it's dangerous over to the right. Yeah. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? <laughs> Hi there. There was this one high pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise <laughs> missile. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks going to stay in Rubicava for a spell? I think so, yeah. Um, yeah, we're looking for a woman. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Yeah, is there any work? I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks. But it's all union work, <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> Nor do I. I'll, uh, I'll try and find something else. How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! <laughs> Manny, could I have an eye patch? <laughs> That's a good point. Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. So that's the end of that, okay. Um. Hmm. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I need to ask him about, uh, where is it? This is her, is it? This is, uh, Celso's wife? It's Celso's wife. Yeah. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Ooh! <laughs> she doesn't look that bad. Although it's kind of hard to tell, I suppose. Uh, yeah, let's get this out. Maybe I need to... Well, I don't need to show Glottis, but maybe show him. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. Is that right? How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. Right. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. <laughs> hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port. 
and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha <laughs> was her just, name. But don't I was wondering. Don't talk about it, because I, I just can't do it. Yeah, it had to be a boat, didn't it? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, he, he gave me something, a port log, right? So, let's take a look at that. This is it. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a honk. Right. Okay. Well, um, that's what we're going to need to show Celso, I think. So let's let's go back up and, and see him. Yeah, I remember this place. Just, just not like this. Anyway, Celso, I'm afraid. I, you know, I've got some bad news, mate. Uh, no, not that bad. I hate to do it to him, really. He's just trying to get through his four-year journey. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? <laughs> Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. There you go. Now we wait. A very long time. Not bad, Manny. Not bad. Hey, boss. You gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. <laughs> if this is what you call a quiet night, it's uh, it's changed a bit in a year, and we'll explore these changes and many, many more in the next part. Thank you very much for watching. See you then. I wonder how long he can live without a heart. Uh, quite a long time, I think. I don't think we can get rid of him quite that easily. All right. Well, there's something apparently. Over there is something in the middle here. Oh no. We can control this, let's do it. Ah! <laughs> um, it's not... Is that...? I'll finish a sentence one of these days, guys. Uh, yeah. But there's that area in the middle. How do I get to that? It's so frustrating just having like half a memory of something. Hmm. In this direction. And I don't think it's... Motherfucker. <laughs> he just can't sit still, can he? 